Hi, it's Dave. I'm thinking uh, about what I'm going to be doing in the next couple of days. Really excited about this upcoming workshop I'm a part of. I have the opportunity to facilitate a sales and marketing team for a big insurance company. Uh, they're wrestling with how do we reinvent ourselves, how do we reorganize to be able to be ready for the 21st century. I think that's what all companies are doing now. You know, the, the, there's so much need for uh, the opportunity to look at things. Everything's constructed on the old world. Uh, just the fact that we have things like iPads and we can take, make pictures like this. And all of the things that we can do, we can have ongoing conversations. We don't need to be uh, as trapped in the old models as we are. So this is a new skill, I think, for leadership in, the, in all, all industries and businesses. There's a lot on uh, YouTube. And TED Talks on we are redesign and organizational uh, improvement. Um, one of the people that I like the most is the, the head of design marketing for IDEO. He talks about the uh, the essence of this is creative confidence, and that's what I'm trying to think about for my my uh, time with this team in the next couple of days. How do we build creative confidence in the face of uncertainty? Uh, we all struggle with one knowing what to do, knowing how to do it. Um, Nobody went to school for this. We find ourselves in a world that's eminently different than we've been prepared for. So having creative confidence is about the only way we can really address it. Rely on our creativity, rely on our ability to find new ways to be innovative, uh, and, be not, and be unafraid, I guess, to walk into the, the cave of the future. And so it's all so uncertain. We can't tell if something we invent today is even going to be around long enough to be useful. So. <clears throat> Uh, one of the things I'd like to do is to get them relying on each other, uh, focusing on the synergy of their own ideas with each other, uh, using each other as a sounding board rather than uh, competing to have the right idea. There is no right answer anymore. We all come from a world where we were taught to memorize the right answer. There is no right answer. There's only the answer that works. So being able to create an organization that can be agile and flexible and adaptable to whatever comes up is really the, uh, the key. So, wish me luck. I'm off to the races. I'll be uh, leaving tomorrow, and I'll be back in a couple of days. Thanks. Talk to you again soon.